Hi and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Um, I was thinking about IRID, it's Digital Resources Facebook page, IRID Month, and I wanted to bring you something quick and easy to show you um, about IRID. So I had a little idea and a little play around with some IRID ideas and thought I'd bring them to you. So I'm going to show you how to make these sort of um, little samples and then hopefully you can take them and um, make great things with them. So here we go. So it's these five little projects for the um, uh, IRID month and I'm just going to go through them really briefly. So this one, effectively I drew this template um, and then cut it out of two different coloured glasses. Now you have to be a bit careful to follow the lines as accurately as you can on the template so they're the same on both glasses but there is a little bit of wiggle room because I've then pulled them out a bit. So the template is 10 by 10, but the glass is cut to about 11 by 11. So there's a bit of kind of um, space to kind of pull it out. But this one, I want to fire um, Irid side down. This is like um, Bullseye have a fantastic tip sheet doing this with squares and taking squares uh, and moving them around. It's really pretty. Um, so I've now got to try and flip this. I've glued it. So I'm hoping I can get it over without too much of it moving around. Now a little bit has moved around there. But I can just sort of get my fingers under because the glue's... I've used the blue gel glue as at least holding it enough in place. So that's going to go down there. You can see actually I numbered the glass and I haven't actually um, uh, taken those numbers off. Um, but they'll burn off because it's Sharpie. Uh, so this one again is using kind of um, uh, dilution with Irid. So you've got a piece of, uh, it's actually bronze Irid, Irid up, um, tect, uh, Tecta. So there's two layers there. And then I'm literally just going to use... I don't even really need to use any glue. Um, these are just clear texture frit balls. I'm putting them all over in a sort of just haphazard pattern. And there will be a sort of detailed thing. These are kind of, Irid is a great um, glass for Christmas. So it, Finding kind of little projects, you could do these in smaller and do them as trinket trays um, and just do kind of little trinket trays and they don't take very much material, doesn't cost a lot and you can just do it like this with lots of little kind of frit balls and make a kind of cute pattern in them and like sort of polka dots. So with this project, um, it's a layer of just um, indigo uh, opal glass. Then I've taken some midnight irid glass and cut it into two by two centimetre squares, but kind of mixed them up. So I took a strip down the, down the glass. So the strip went down the glass like this and I've cut the squares. So you're getting the whole irid rainbow selection. And because I've used a few strips, you've got a mix of them. So those, there's, it's 12 by 12, the bottom layer, two by two. So there's enough space for the, um, to be in between. And then on top, there's little squares of one by one, three mil tector. So it's like um, a stack, but with tector, so you're gonna get the dilution. Um, and we can see how it comes out. Hopefully you'll get a kind of nice irid pattern um, with the, the dilution and capping of the tector, but plus having some where the irid shows through. Now it's quite a tricky one, this one, to get everything lined up and in place and get these on top really accurately. I'm not going to try to do it really, really, you know, all lined up. It's not really my forte. I don't mind if there's a little bit of kind of wonkiness here and there. Um, that's the kind of, you know, uh, glass I do. But um, if you want to you make this really accurate, you have to be very careful with your cutting two by two squares and one and a half by one and a half squares and then getting them all lined up. So this one, you've got a, um, one layer of um, three mil tector and then these strips of irid. Now the irid, I'm going to put down first. And then I'm going to cap it. As you see, I've cut the irid strips and I've cut some, I think this is a Kelly green and some Caribbean blue um, and literally just cut them. I've also turned, so there's one going this way, one going that way, one going this way. Um, so that the irids slightly different directions and then I'm capping it with this and then I just want to do a stencil on top in another coloured glass so I'm just going to put my mask on and then I'm just lining the stencil up in the middle 
And then I'm just taking some light adventuring green. And going over the top. Quite a good coating. Now you can get stencils from various different places you can get stencils. Um, these actually I got in a job lot from someone, um, but you warm glass sell a good range in the UK. I'm sure I think AAE do a fantastic range in America. So you can get your stencils there um, and do that. And then I'm going to just sort of lift it off. Reclaim my powders and then I will just go along the edge here and um, clear off any excess glass. So this here, you've got a bottom layer of tech to three mil and then the top layer of Irid. And then we've used a stencil, uh, not a stencil, just a, um, a, uh, a line drawing of a cat that I've taken off the internet and I put that underneath and I've used our dichroic clear stringers on top to do the outlines of the cat. But because you've got the Irid facing up and the, these clear stringers will um, go into it, you should get a really nice effect between the cat and it will be very kind of subtle, but kind of beautiful. So hopefully that will work really well. So these are now all gonna go in the kiln on a full fuse and we'll see how they are when they come out. So here they are all out of the kiln. Um, let's start with these ones. So these two are basically using clear um, glass on top to sort of displace the Irid. Um, I really like the, the effect on this one. I'm maybe not so keen choice on the colour of the actual glass, but I think it works really effectively. Um, the line drawing, the lines needed to be thicker. It's um, quite hard to see it, um, but you get the idea. These are sort of more about ideas than actual kind of, you know, um, projects. You can sort of do this another way. I'm just going to show you this is another piece of Irid with line displacement. These were sort of various pieces of Irid cut up into a plate and then using clear stringers on top to create these lines. So that's another kind of idea of how you can um, use this sort of uh, method of clear on top to create um, a pattern in the irid. So those are those. So now this one, um, again, color choice is very bad. It, it, if I hold it up to the light, actually it's beautiful. And you can see the stencil pattern really nicely but down it just sort of looks a bit kind of muddy. Um, if you use lighter irids, let's say, so I'll show you this one, which is lighter colors of um, irid with a stencil, it, it works much better. So that's a kind of idea of, of using lighter irids um, uh, with this kind of stenciling idea instead. This one I love, I think this works really well. Um, I like the kind of lines between in clear and the kind of wavy pattern. So remember this one, you're firing face down. So you're now flipping it up. You might, you know, almost want to refire really it this way up. Um, I think I'm going to slump this one into a kind of little trinket dish. Um, and then this is my favorite without a shadow of doubt. I think this worked out brilliantly. Um, I'm just not sure you're going to be able to see this so well on the filming, but you get this sort of um, 3D effect on the kind of middle ones where the texture on top has made the irid sink in. And it's sort of also created these lines around it. You get some cracking in the area, but I really like that as an effect. So I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. It kind of feels amazing too. Um, so that definitely is my favorite. So these are just various different little ideas of things you can do with era glass to create different techniques. And then you can take these and make, create a dish or a bowl whatever you want um, to use with them. I think this irid is great for Christmas. If you're thinking about spending your summer making little things for Christmas, you know, particularly this one, take this size, take it smaller into a little trinket dish. It doesn't cost that much in glass. And um, I think that could be a really kind of festive seller. Um, even just, you know, as coasters, it's a you know lovely, lovely idea. I imagine a big platter or bowl done like this. Um, so those are some ideas. Hope you have fun with them. Um, and if you've liked this video, please subscribe.